Welcome back to another fix of the Acolyte. I'm glad you're enjoying these videos. If you are, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you're not enjoying the videos, let me know too. Like, who cares? Bring it. I, I read all the comments, so <laughs> just know that. Um, but before I, before, before I begin showing you this fix, and I, I want to touch on this real quick. Remember that when I show you these fixes, you might think of them like, oh, just this is not going to fix the entire show. Just this little thing is not going to. I'm showing you one tree. Think about it this way. I'm showing you one tree. I'm not showing you the entire forest. OK, for example, let me show you. Today, we're going to be looking at these cuts right here. These little cuts right here, this little segment from all of this. Right now, I have about one hour and 55 minutes of the movie kind of completed, kind of kind of done in a way, uh, at least the rough cut. So whenever you're like thinking, oh, this is not going to do it or whatever, just know that there's way more. Don't be narrow minded. OK, don't don't be don't be thinking that that's it, that just because I edit that thing. That means that I'm not like thinking of everything else and it's not going to be able to be fixed or whatever. No, that's 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 not the point. I'm just showing you little bits and pieces that I think are worth showing. So today I wanted to show you just like a very subtle thing, very subtle. But it makes the world's difference. OK, so let's begin with the original. What happens in the original? So please look at the source monitor right here to 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 the left right here uh, so you can see how the original goes so we have the introduction of Olega uh, and we have the acolyte arriving uh, we have this little introduction of the world we have this little girl stealing something then we have this little interaction with her and the robot and then we have this we see that it's uh may the one that hired this little girl to like to 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 mess with the little robot so she can get in hello i'm over here come on and we have uh, like a very bad, like, well, we're, it's not a surprise that we have bad acting in the show, but uh, hello, I'm here. Come on. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I know you're a kid and I'm not calling you a bad actress, but that was bad acting. Regardless, that is the director's fault. <laughs> like At the end of the day, it's the director's fault. So anyhow, so we have the little interaction and then we see Osha. <laughs> do that then gives her money and then just walks into walks into the game this is why i feel or i believe that this is a problem this is why because we see that may is just not smart enough or like intimidating enough that she needs to hire a nine-year-old uh, the moment I saw that, I was like, dude, that, that is so fucking stupid. Like, that is so goddamn stupid. Like, this girl is just like, is it supposed to be comedic? What is it supposed to be? Honestly, I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like in any way, shape, or form that little interaction because I feel like it detracts from the intimidation factor of May, and it just makes it look like the Jedi Temple is guarded just by this weak ass robot you know so i just decided to cut it again remember the whole point of this edit is to elevate the characters whether you like them or not it doesn't matter to me what matters is that these characters are elevated and have a little bit more presence so wouldn't it be just better if we transition from olega into just our assassin that we we'll remember if you haven't watched that video go and watch it is the first scene fixed um remember that we want to believe that this girl may is like a very calculated assassin that she is just she's just going for it 
So we just have them, we just have her going for it. That's it. We establish that she's just walking. We eliminate the little girl and the little like trinket and whatever. That's it. Because why? We just want to establish that she's going to a place, right? And that's what she does. She comes in and she's like elusive. Don't you think it makes more sense that she just like that we are giving her that air of mystery that she is capable of just like eluding security at a Jedi temple? So anyways, that's what she's doing. And then we go to the infamous part. Well, not so infamous yet, but in the original, we have her coming to to this Jedi Master with the fake ass wig. And then she just goes and does her little routine of you and I have unfinished business and yada yada. We have unfinished business. She goes into her little mega mind pose again. Attack me with all your strength. And here's the problem already. She is scared. You can hear it in her voice. You can hear doubt. You, it's, it's just like you're not elevating the character. You're not really putting enough like emphasis to this character. You're making this character look weak, feel weak and silly by having that fucking pose. Like, why, why would you have that? And then she's doubtful. Like, this is not part of the plan. Like, look at her expression. It's like, oh, this is not part of the plan. Um, what should I do? And then she goes to attack. And then there's the force. And then she realizes, oh, there's a force field. Okay, I get it. I, I see what's happening here. Okay. So what does she do now? She goes to attack again. So, yeah, if a punch didn't work, maybe a shit ton of punches are going to work. And that's the problem with this goddamn show. So, what can we gather as the audience already with this is that she is just maybe a little clumsy, <laughs> like maybe incompetent and maybe not that smart. Because a trained assassin would be like, oh, there's a force field. Maybe a brute force is not going to do it. Maybe I need to try a different way. So she said one punch, okay, maybe a shit ton of punches, no. A kick, no. What does she do now? Maybe a kick from above. And then we see our supposedly intimidating assassin just fall to the ground for trying a silly ass flying kick. It just doesn't help the character. You need, in order to, remember, in order to, to make the audience kind of like root for your characters, you need to have them defined. You need to have defining traits to the characters. And right here, we have the trait of uh, doubt and fear and stupidness. <laughs> Instead of having um, more of a sense of danger and precision. Like, if she's killing Jedi, she needs to be precise and smart. Right here, she doesn't look smart. Then she goes and grabs the knives. And the knives don't work either. All right. So, yep, the knives don't work. And someone is coming and then she goes all right so what happens in my edit it's a very simple edit like legitimately it's such a simple edit and that's why I wanted to to show it to you because it's very subtle I wanted again this character to be intimidating 
to be more precise and to be more decisive. So I just decided to cut when she goes into the mega mind pose, when she does her little speech of attack me with all your strength. Master Torben. She says the name, Master Torben. We need to understand that she knows who this person is because it's going to be important la later on. So she does say the name. She does say, say the name. But what happens after? She just goes for the for for the for the strike. Like, why would she wait for him to attack? She's a Sith. Like, she should be like, you know, on top of this thing. Like, not giving any sort of opportunity. But this is what happens. Like, she notices, okay, my punch didn't work. Well, let me try a different method. The knives. So instead of just having this silly ass dance routine, just trying to like, you know, brute force and anything, she just like goes for it. She's more decisive. She's, she's on it. She decides like, hey, I came here for a reason and I'm going to do that reason. So fuck it. Let's just go for it, you know? And that's where we go. Like I said, simple edit. It's a very simple edit. Super simple. Master Torben. Then she realizes like, hey, this thing's not bulging. Okay, let me try something different then. And it helps with the pacing of the show, whether you like it or not. The pacing of the show is pretty bad. So we need to like cut the, cut the dead weight. And this is an example of cutting the dead weight. So there you go. So like I said, that's a very, very simple, very simple, very simple fix, very subtle, but it, it is those type of things that those microscopic changes that just help the overall story. All right, I hope you like it. Let me know if you do, and I'll see you later.